So now when we go into the system, you need to go to check how we did in the system demo here under asset accounting. So you can see here asset explorer and the asset what I created for depreciation is this. So if you go to this asset, then you can see 800,000 and the ordinary depreciation for 2021 is this. So this is where we posted the asset. So this is an acquisition is done on 1st of January 2020. So now if you look into the depreciation, yeah, as I explained in my previous video, you can see that we posted depreciation until the month of May. So in the month of six, which is June, the system will catch up all the depreciation from Jan to May until June. Then it will post that amount. So now you, you look into the comparisons, so you can see here, this is exactly match with our requirement. So we have created a depreciation key, which will calculate the depreciation based on our requirement. So here you can see what is the depreciation and what is the net book value. And also you can see the cost acquisition value across the years. So this is uh, where you can see the information here. So now, yeah, in the next steps, I'm going to show you what needs to be done from the configuration point of view to do this. So you can see I created, this is the depreciation key, sum of digits, which is SEM1. So I'm going to show you in the system how you can create this same depreciation key for calculating the correct depreciation. So here you can see the scrap value which is maintained in this case. If you look here, the scrap value for this asset is actually maintained as 50. So when you minus the cost by 50, then the system will automatically take. So the ordinary start is January. The life of the asset is five years. And also the depreciation key what we used is sum of digits. So these are the things you need to check in the master data. So this is the asset we created. So now you can see here, this is the depreciation which I showed you. So when you look into the next year, so you can see the depreciation, how it is charged every month. So this will be distributed equally across the months. So when you look into the ja the 2020, you can see 200 and 250 thousands, which is equally distributed. So when 2021, 16,666.66, which is also equally distributed. And uh, yeah, so this will show only previous year and current year. So if you want to really compare, then you must go to the comparisons. So yeah, so this is how in the system demo, you can see this. Thank you.